Welcome to season three of Stable Talk. We got women's soccer in with us today. We got Meg Meyer and Jess Bizzacco, both New Jersey relatives. If you guys just want to <laughs> tell us about yourselves, your major, what position you play now, maybe what position you used to play growing up. I'm Meg. I am I'm from Howell, New Jersey. I'm a rising junior, but I'm like a red-shirted sophomore because I was out my freshman year. Um, I played midfield, like center mid. That's like my home. I've always loved playing center mid. That's usually like where I play, but I can really like play anywhere. Oh, elementary ed. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Jess. I live in Sickerville, New Jersey, which is like South Jersey. Um, I'm a rising sophomore and I'm majoring in graphic design. And yeah, my main, um, well, my position now is like center back defender, but I actually used to play goalie for a really long time, but that didn't end well. Yeah, so now I'm a center back. <laughs> so you guys are both from New Jersey. What's, what are like the main things that are different about living in New Jersey and then both you going to college in Maryland? What's different? A hundred percent the bagels and pizza. Like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, like yeah. the bagels. Are the pizza are wait, are the bagels bad here? They're just like not from New Jersey. You know yeah. what I mean? The bagels here, they're just like crusty. Like in New <laughs> Jersey, like they're just like perfect. Yeah. Like it's just no other, you know. I My also. sisters live in South Carolina and like I went down there and I tried to get like a fresh bagel and that's like they don't exist. <laughs> That's so awesome. like for someone to say that our bagels suck like bagel shops like aren't a thing like it's just so weird to me like, even like fresh bagels at the grocery store like they're just not a thing and i didn't realize that wait are you from jersey too no i'm from maryland but oh, okay. but I'm i like fresh Atlantic bagels City. too fire fire <laughs> One thing for me that I noticed when I came to Maryland is you guys are kind of like obsessed with the Maryland flag and <laughs> everywhere and like I don't even know what the Jersey flag is like it's really? so strange to me yeah like it's just like everywhere it all started with Route One Apparel do you guys know what that is no like this girl who's actually like from where me and Jay are from in Bel Air started this company called Route One Apparel and she literally just started out with like a pair of socks and like a shirt with like the Maryland flag on it. And it just like blew up and now it's like this whole, and I think that's when the whole thing started about people just like wearing the flag everywhere. True. I feel like not a lot of states like do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it's the only yeah. state flags I know are like us, Texas and California. Yeah. It's so weird. That is weird. Also that's like weird. Maryland people just love Maryland you know what I mean like yeah. the ravens crabs like they're yeah. so like in love with Maryland it's so funny dude no. have you guys ever had crabs before not like that I mean like <laughs> I remember last year I lived in Wooded Way and I like all most of my roommates were like from Maryland and I walk mm -hmm. in one time and all I see is like these like crabs like actual crabs you know what I mean yeah. like, <laughs> big bag like they're all over like the table and they're like cracking them open and like watching a Ravens <laughs> game. And I'm like, this is the most Maryland thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like a full on crab. Did you eat one? <laughs> What's wow. that? Did you eat one? No, I don't eat that. <laughs> I'll eat a crab cake. Crab cakes are cool. Just crab like, cakes oh. taste different. They're not I'd rather different. lobster than crab, to be honest. I'm not a seafood fan. So. Not a seafood fan. <laughs> All right. Burger cookies. Have you guys had burger cookies? No, is that a Maryland thing? <laughs> <laughs> you need to have them. Jay, have you had this? No. Oh, we should we should tell our YouTube subscribers to comment below. <laughs> comment below. They had burger cookies. Next up, are there any hobbies or? Oh, I was already pointed out. I grew out my hair. Is there anything that you've done in quarantine that you typically not normally do? Or any, like, fun things that were, like, spur of the moment. I'm going to do this because I have nothing else to do because of a pandemic. Um, for me, I've been watching a lot of baking shows, and it gets, <laughs> it gets me really inspired. So then have I you tried to recreate anything? Yeah, what have you made? Um, I haven't tried to recreate anything because I'm not that good. So, like, I can't go, you know, crazy. But I've started making scones, which are actually really good. Are you a Gordon Ramsay or um, a Guy Fieri? Which one? Oh, 
I gotta start getting the hairstyle then. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying me, to cook. I'm trying. Really, I like have been working like ever since like quarantine. Like I work at a daycare for like essential employees, kids. So like that was like always open. So I was like always working. So I kind of just like swapping out. <laughs> yeah, it kind of just like felt like every other day. Okay. But um, yeah, I've really just been chilling. I just moved into my apartment in Maryland, so kind of taking it day by day, you know. Packing. All right, we're gonna do some team superlatives. First one, most likely to spend the most time on their phone. Probably Mel porn cut. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Seth Exposer, is like, tell us why. Edit. She's like loves taking pictures. Like loves. Like, <laughs> taking pictures or in like and then she'll take pictures and then she'll like edit them for like an hour dude like she's just like <laughs> oh my god dude like it's so funny but she's not like the type of person where like you're trying to tell them a story and they're like you know what I mean like she's not yeah. like that it's just like she loves like doing doing stuff on yeah. her phone. she loves the gram yeah she does she does big gram <laughs> all right who's most likely to host a talk show I say Cassidy Butler. <laughs> I was either gonna say Cassie or Lo. <laughs> yeah, both of them on the same show would be something. But yeah, <laughs> Cassidy is definitely co-hosts. So yeah, <laughs> I could totally see that. Yeah, she could just go on and on telling you stories and stuff. So yeah, Cassie always has a story to tell. Yeah. <laughs> Best person to be stranded on an island with. Bridget Heist, hundred percent, hundred. Why? Cause she's just with it. Like she knows like things that like normal people don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who do you think, Jess? Um, from I mean, I I'm I live with Lo. She's my roommate, so like I can't really imagine like not going or being somewhere with her. But I also feel like she's also like she makes me laugh all the time. So I'm like, I want to at least have some fun. I'm stuck you want on someone it. who can keep you entertained. Yeah, for sure. for sure. Bridget will keep us alive. Lo will keep us entertained. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right, who's most likely to get married in Vegas? Is it going to be like an alumni or not? I was thinking too. Yeah, give oh, us, sure. give us what you got. Oh, the same person. Who are you thinking? Lena. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because she just like, she's, a, she's very like lovey, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like she just like has so much love coming out of her and like she's very like impulsive so I could totally see her doing it. <laughs> she like, might do it like next year like type of thing like honestly. Always down for a good time she'd probably just yeah. you know, come back. Like, like, like get married just to have like a party you know what I mean. Yeah. All right last one coach Joel's big passed out in the front seat who's messing with him or pranking him? Biggest prankster. Honestly. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely pranking him. I feel like Toddy's definitely pranking him. I feel like Toddy would, like, get everyone to do oh, it. Oh, yeah. Toddy probably would be, like, first. <laughs> 100%. Like, everyone's going to, like, get in on that. Were there any pranks this past year? Yeah. Yeah, we did have a good <laughs> So, I don't know why, but we thought it would be so funny if we – like because coaches so we get in the locker room like 15 20 minutes before practice and the coaches come out like the time of practice so if we have we have practice at like four we have to be in the locker room like 3 30 out on the field like 3 45 they come out at four so we thought it would be so funny to like hide you know what I mean <laughs> just like <laughs> not show up like, so we just, out, like where is everybody <laughs> so we like got up on this the ledge thing like outside on the turf we like got up on it and hid behind the bushes and we they like came out and they like they were like where is everyone like they looked in the locker room and everything and then we were like boo <laughs> and, like, we thought it was so funny but like talking about it like it really was, like, <laughs> But it, like we were because there was like this wall and it was like right next to the stage yeah. hop over the wall and like we were all like having trouble getting over it like I cut my leg open I have like, like 35 girls who yeah. had <laughs> <laughs> did Joel think it was funny or they were just confused I mean, yeah they were laughing but they yeah. were trying not to laugh you know what yeah. I mean like they're trying to make it <laughs> funny, but like they knew it was funny like <laughs> we have to prank them more honestly like yeah I don't know, I'm thinking about it. We only pranked them once in the whole season. Yeah, I want to come back for a, another episode and see what yeah. things you guys have done on Joelle. <laughs> <Something up. laughs> 
We'll make a special edition episode called Pranking yeah. Joel. <laughs> called just That's Pranking true. Joel. That'll be fun. Oh my God. Make a whole series. That. All right, we're going to do some Q&A. How long would either of you last in a zombie apocalypse? I feel like I would last a long time just because of the fact that I've watched like all of The Walking Dead and like I know everything that happens and I'm like I think I got it planned out but <laughs> I don't know if I could actually- I think I'm the opposite like <laughs> really like straight up if like that was happening right now I am not prepared I have nothing you know what I mean like, if that was happening right now I have my Nissan Altima in my apartment like what am I doing <laughs> I'm to the top of my building but that's about it like I, I never watched Walking Dead. Like, I always thought, like, zombies were so scary. I tried watching Walking Dead, but there's, like, how many seasons now? Like, 12 or something? Like, a lot of seasons now, yeah. I um, watched uh, until they – what's the old dude? I, I stopped watching when Glenn died, honestly. Yeah. Don't they like, all die? Spoilers. <laughs> die. Are they leaving? Yeah, they all die. die. I just always remember, like, looking through Twitter when, like, Walking Dead was, like, the thing. Me too. Like, I was like, this person died, this person. I was like, what's the point of the show if everyone's going to die? Yeah, like, I was like, I don't even need to watch the show. I can just read about it on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter, literally. If the Stevenson Woman Soccer was a sitcom, what would the theme song be? Good question. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It could be just like your guys' go-to hype song or whatever. <laughs> or locker room jam. Okay. If it's like explicit, probably like plain Jane. <laughs> <laughs> just because that's so we're talking like MTV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your guys' favorite memory from the 2019 season? Playoffs. Oh my god. Yeah. Like just like um October like the month of October in general like we literally were just winning like every game we were just like we were that team you know what I mean like we after September because we lost almost like every game in September and then coach Stewart talked to us on the bas- men's basketball team he just gave us this pep talk and like you could ask anyone on our team about this like they remember that talk yeah. like you know what I mean that that talk we were just like yeah like yeah like it just got us going and then after that talk we almost won like every game and made it to playoffs and it was crazy it was just so like we were on a roll you know what I mean it was yeah. very exciting Jo- Joel would come in the office and be like, "Yeah, he took. Yeah, I started in October. We haven't lost a game since I got here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, he wasn't even there for like the bad parts. So. Yeah, yeah, he, he was. was. <laughs> had a good time. He really it's did. Well, yeah. There's probably just a bunch of things that led us to do that. You know what I mean? Like Joel's such a good assistant coach. Like he's such a good hype man. Like everything just came together. It was like mm-hmm. so satisfying. I think Arcadia was always like a big big game for uh, big games especially the last two times it's like back to back oh. you just get my blood pumping like mm-hmm. oh my God. those yeah. two games those are like the games like you want to play though like yeah you're excited. i just want to play them again you know yeah what I, mean? I know I and they're not even in our conference anymore or our side That's of the right. conference we're never gonna get to play them again yeah. like i want to play them again yeah i really do yeah i really do yeah. Playoffs, maybe, right? Yeah, still. true. I mean, sometimes you guys still like cross between freedom and um, Commonwealth. Yeah, that's just make it to NCAA's though, or yeah. maybe at a conference we play them like in the beginning. I don't know. We're gonna go into this or that. You only get one forever. Super sandwich for the rest of your life. You get other things in your life, but you just lose. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what's the question? Soup or sandwich? Oh, oh. Super sandwich. Super sandwich, yeah. <laughs> um, I was like, super sandwich sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I say soup. I say sandwich. Mm. For sure. They're just I'm like, a sandwich girl, too. Yeah, I'd love a good sandwich. What about you, Jay? Sandwich. Sandwich. Oh. Don't show the soup. <laughs> Ocean or mountains? Ocean. You can never go to the other ever again. What kind of question is that? I'm from Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jersey Ocean too. Sure. Yeah. yeah. My friend, Jersey Shore. Yeah, I'm 15 minutes. Come on. Right? <laughs> Come on. What's, what's your guys' go-to beach on the Jersey Shore? Belmar. 
I go to Ocean City. Phone or computer? Phone. You could just do so much on a computer and so easy, you know? I would say phone, though, just because you can take it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Netflix or YouTube? Netflix. All the way. I'm, like, never on YouTube. I want to say YouTube just because I'm on, I'm on it more. Like, there's more, like, to watch. But I do be watching Netflix a lot. Yeah. I've recently gotten <laughs> into, like, watching random YouTube videos. All right, what if it was Netflix or Hulu? Yeah. Netflix. Yeah. Netflix. Yeah. I think there's more options. Yeah. Here we go. Trivia. This is Woman's where it's real. Stevenson Woman Soccer Trivia. Yeah. Okay. okay, how many NCAA appearances does the Stevenson women's soccer team have? Three. <laughs> what about you, Jess? What do you I think? Say like five, I don't know. <laughs> four. <laughs> four. Well, I said three or four, okay? Like, <laughs> four. four, did you say? Both of you were close. Okay. okay, all right, that's reasonable. <laughs> Two-part question. What state is head coach Toddy from? Ohio. Okay. And what city is she a native of? Wait, Ohio? Is she really from Ohio? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How weird yeah. is that? <laughs> How do I not know that? What? She doesn't know you know that. that. She does not say anything. Never talks about it. You know, what, like... you know what city? Wow. Wait, what was the city question? What city? Yeah, do you know what city in Ohio? What city in, in Ohio? Cleveland? I have no idea. In Ohio? It is. Yeah. But, oh, I just have no idea. I didn't even know she was from Ohio. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wooster. Yeah, apparently it's Wooster. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to roast her about that. I've been there once. <laughs> You've been to Ohio or Wooster? What's it like? It's kind of like really suburban. It's really, it's honestly probably just like anywhere else in Maryland. Really super. I mean, Toddy, correct me if I'm wrong. But. Toddy's gonna email you and be like, actually, like it's not like that. Really. I remember there being like a lot of TJ Maxx's and Buffalo Wild Wings. So everywhere else in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. But I was I was near the College of Wooster. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. What are the names of Coach Joel's three kids? Oh my God, you're putting me on the spot. Oh no. I feel bad that I don't know this. Yeah, he's definitely watching this. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joel. I'm sorry. He could have. He could have called in. Them. I can describe them. He has like two, three-year-old sons. They're twins, and he just had a newborn baby. Yes. Okay. And it's a girl. You got a P name, an M name, and an H name. Parker. No. Paige. M name. No. <laughs> They're like Henry. The names for his kids are. Henry. Preston, Maxwell, and Henry. Oh, they're all boys. I'm stupid. Is one? No, one of them is not a girl. Why is it Henry? Yeah. Don't listen to me. No. <laughs> Preston, Maxwell, yeah. and what was the other one? Henry. 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 I'm gonna remember that. He, he tells us all the time. I had to text him today. I can only remember Preston. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> okay, what number? This is just regular soccer trivia. What number did Mia Ham wear? 15. Uh, 11. Single digit. 6. 1. Why are we so bad at this? You are number 9. Me and Jess were literally like the trivia. To be fair, I don't even think I was like alive when she was playing, so. She was on the 9th. Yeah, we weren't. Well, we were just like starting. Starting yeah. out. <laughs> Starting out in the world. I should have chosen someone more recent then. <laughs> We're going to do a little bonus question, see if you guys can get it right. Okay. Don't make it too hard. Okay, what number did Abby Wambach wear? 20. There you go. Woo! They got one! Yes! <laughs> I think it's going to be better. You're, you're one for four. <laughs> we always tell people if you want to let people know where to follow you. <laughs> Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Well, you, to... you can look me up if you want to. <laughs> Great. This is just a <laughs> Toddy Not... for signing me and Jess up for this. Yeah, thank you, Toddy. <laughs> the best.
Ohio, Easter. Ohio. <laughs> Thanks, Joelle, for not joining us today. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Shout out Joelle for not go being send there. him. Go send him a strongly worded text message. <laughs> I'm just going to say thank you so I much. Hope you got, I hope call. you got your work done because we really missed you on the Zoom call. Thank you for sharing. Sure. He'll just be upset that we didn't know his kids' names. So. <laughs> <laughs> didn't say anything Maybe you should just say, like, no. Nah. <laughs> it's okay. Don't watch it. <laughs> thank you. For All right. Us. Yeah, thanks well, for having us. Yeah. Thanks. We had fun. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Good luck with the beginning of your guys' semester.